They say that if you want to hide anything from the average person, including the keys to their mental shackles, you should put it in a book. Are you brave enough to get Patrick Gaynor's Planet Hurt? Volume 1, The Idea and the Process. The greatest book ever written about your life? Find it in various forms on planethurtbook.com, Amazon, and all reputable online platforms where books are available. You'll be glad you did. The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors, as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying, but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning! Small minds, listen at your own risk, as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind, as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time, in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, time. Yes, me I tell you, yes, curly locks device box, I check in for one more episode of In the Meantime, episode 25 to be precise. Entitled Vox a Nation. I tell you, it get serious. Yeah, man. Indeed it is. Yeah, man. All right, first off, you know, I want to say my apologies, my sincere apologies for the delay in bringing in the meantime for the last couple of months. I have been having some serious technical difficulties. Yeah, man, some whole heap of issues beyond my control. But we have some good news. Yes, my new book, Planet Hurt, Volume 1, The Idea and the Process will be locally available, yeah man, on March 19, Friday, March 19, exclusively at JA Deals for now, and then eventually in a few days to weeks, it will reach the 14 parish. But for now, you can visit JA Deals live in Adam store at Park Plaza, Alfred Tree, 6D, Constant Spring Road. Kingston, right across from Pavilion, next door to the Scotia Bank, right there, so. Right where you see taxi man, them, I will on all about from people and I kill them for going to them taxi. And for those who can't make it to the store itself, yeah man, you can log on to contact at jadeals.com and get your copy today, yeah man. Alright, this section of the program is brought to you by www.abombo.com. The expressive clothing brand, yeah man, and it's spell A H B O M B O, yeah man, dot com. That's the real name. Yeah man, that's what them name. I mean, I mean, I make it up. I'm not no joke, me again. Serious times indeed, my brother. Me I tell you, me I tell you. Yeah man, I'm for support my Kingston 13 merchandise. The link is in the description. Yeah man. All right, as usual, this section of the program is also brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation, and Madvert Multimedia. If it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. And Rebel 13 Collections, it's at Rebel 13 Collections for the finest in custom design clothing and everything printing, except fingerprinting. Also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services, yeah, man. Them is the greatest thing for immigration issues in a Canada. They are? Yeah, man, because I well, know Canada is the next place in the world where a whole heap of people run where out there freeze to death in a people basement and live in a ignorance and don't know that they not to live so. But suppose they can't afford the consultation? No, man, they don't have to worry about that, man. Consultation with Renaissance Immigration is absolutely entirely free. The number them with a call is 437 703 1147 to eat. Or you can email them at Consultant at renaissanceimmigration.ca The website is renaissanceimmigration.ca And for Instagram, it's at renaissanceimmigration And if you can't spell immigration, no bother shame man Just talk to your phone man You just press the middle button somewhere there so This section is also brought to you by Bunks About Kids Party Rentals, yes man Bunks About Rentals, birthday parties, school fairs, yeah man Fun days and other events it's at Bunks About, that's B-U-N-X, About. 
Yeah, man, and the number to call is 404 You don't have to search no more for customize an experience for your child that they will never forget. Don't bunks go all about. Bunks! Bunks! About. Bunks. About. In the meantime. All right, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so the show might get a little intense in the second half. Yeah, man, so... I'm going to jump right into the letter of the day, yeah man. The letter of the day coming to In The Meantime Radio Show at gmail.com is coming from Christopher Mackay. Yeah man, Christopher Mackay say, EL Curly Locks the Vice Box, bless up me G. Your program In The Meantime has been a blessing to my life. You have turned me into a spiritually mature man who have learned to see life from a different perspective. What I am writing about, however, is my spiritually immature baby mother, who I lived with in Florida for over 10 years. In the latter part of our relationship, when she started hanging out with a certain set of people that I don't wish to name, she changed and was a total different person. She became verbally abusive to me. Sex became like a chore or a task rather than any act of passion or spiritual connection. Whenever I tried to be assertive and stand up as a man, she would become belligerent and verbally abusive and even go as far as telling me that I need a bigger dick before I can talk to her or function as any kind of man. This girl would emasculate me every chance she get. Long story short, one day I came home from work and she and my daughter and all my furniture was gone. Two days later, I would find out that this fucking wicked bitch relocated with my child to New York. Over the years, I tried as best as I could to render whatever support I could afford. And I tried also to visit her whenever I could afford it. As time went by, my baby mother poisoned my daughter's mind against me. As the visits got less and less. Eventually, my daughter cut me off completely whenever I tried to communicate with her. She became more and more like her immature mother, resentful, bitter, ungrateful, and spiteful. And at this point, as far as I am concerned, they can both fuck off. Because my daughter who don't know half the story is always telling me that I was never there for her. When she knows full and well that it was her mother who kidnapped her and moved to a totally different state making it totally impossible for me to visit. I haven't spoken to my baby mother or my crosses daughter in years, and I am good, because me and God knows that I tried my best. Christopher. <laughs> oh, boy. What you say, my spiritually mature friend, Christopher? What you say? Are you best that? Well, if you feel like are your best that, <laughs> me I tell you, say, you listen to in the meantime, and I agree with the information, but, you, you now practice it, brethren, based upon what me hear you as a writer, so. Firstly, me I go tell you, you know, say so you're right. You have all right to feel like how you feel. Yeah, man, it is true. But these feelings shouldn't override the objective, which is to be a father to your daughter. This is how a mature, a spiritually mature person think. You know, abandon your daughter because you're right and you can justify it. Too much people feel say so once them can justify something. Once them see where, where, where them right. Once them see which part them right, them not have to do nothing about it. Because them right. Case closed. You understand? Let me get something straight now. You, Christopher, say you see your baby mother and basically your daughter as like spiritually immature. So that would have simply mean now then say, yeah, them body are grow. Yeah, them my age. You understand? But them not grow. So that means to say them are adult children then. So yeah, man, because you spiritually mature, you understand this. But me, me make you get something straight. A child for any level at all is still the same thing in Umbridging. When a parent have a three-year-old child then, for example, the parent then knowing of themselves from a mature perspective, say this three-year-old are going to do three-year-old things and therefore budget for this three-year-old doing those kind of things. And therefore, they must have the patience, tolerance, compassion, empathy for this child and therefore can forgive them long before any of the foolishness happen. And if you feel like you are a spiritually mature adult, 
then in this case, a you a play the role of that kind of parent, you know, with these adult children. And what kind of person you feel say have up children? Only a next fucking child. When somebody spiritually mature or grow up then, the first thing we have to do is tame your ego. I mean, hear your ego written all over this letter. Me, 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 I am a victim. Madem, madem, madem. Nobody who is mature can have this type of outlook, of resentment and bitterness toward anybody. When you mature, you understand, and when you understand, you tolerate. And when you tolerate, you're unbothered. You know what being a spiritually mature parent mean? It mean you give up all of the selfishness and the self-interest and, and tame your ego, brethren. And I don't say focus by yourself, no for united, you know, everything is balanced, purple nation. But member say you come second and the child come first. When you know better than a child, you cannot act like the child. Are you upset? Yeah, man, rightfully upset because they must say you was not dear for your child. Because of the, the, the circumstances where you describe. And under those circumstances, yes, again, yes, you're right. You understand? But when the question is asked, Objectively, were you dear? Despite what cause you're not dead there, regardless of how right you are, you were not dear. And you can't make your anger and self pity blind you. Sometimes you have to reach out for help. And anyone where we, we go through anything similar to this, man, if you're not listening in the meantime, you know, you may talk about Louis La. Them deal with all of them kind of matters they have abduction. All alien abduction them good have deal with if there was such a thing. I tell you that. All if somebody take your picnic and go on next planet. Louis Law the right here step. Yeah, man. Them deal with all matters related to visa citizenship. Green card deportation. Removal of conditions. Including the condition where one parent take the picnic and carry them across state lines. Yeah, man, I tell you. The number for call is 954-530-1717. The website, www.lewisla.liar. Instagram, Facebook, at PA. And Christopher, me I tell you, say, Bridging. When me tell you these things, you know, Bridging, me tell you these things because me want you have a better life, Bridging, by practicing the information we are here for in the meantime and think you believe. Not because you agree with what me I say, means say you actually practice it or something you have to do. Feet increase the quality of your life. You understand? And don't worry about this woman, you say you would smile because. The mind of the in immature, they not think objectively. Yeah, and the spiritual immature don't think objectively because I have said this thing for years, you know, Rasta. I always ask some woman now. When you not go say, a man would smile and I try to be little a man. I emasculate him and make him feel small. No pun intended. When you never yet stop for think, say, when a man would smile, a ban him, ban with it. But when a woman will be a mash, mash up that blood cloud. Yeah, man, if you know, say this is Leela Ike, and right now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. All right, well, them say, I know the vaccine land, shipment come. And, and uh, not a day too soon, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, I say so. Be because, I, my yeah. brother, I, yeah. I, I, I just cannot believe the level of ignorance in this country. We do. But, uh, we're, we do. Hold on, hold on. Wait, Where people are actually pushing back against their own upliftment, my brother. I hear you say that all the time, sir, that adult children, spiritually immature children, will often push back against their own upliftment. But I just can't believe I live to see it in such a blatant kind of way, my brother. Because these people, these docile, ignorant people, are making it bad for those of us who want to get on with life as I don't understand it. You can't say that, my brethren. Why can't I say that? Oh, you mean Why you can't, can't I... say that? Because can't? if you make a statement like that, brethren, and you depend on how oh, long and listen to objective reality, if you truly understand it, then you would have realized, say, this situation is the perfect example of that thing that I always talk about name. Me, Ness, which is the biggest blockade to communication in any issue upon 
any level bridging you understand this is where you are again no me go tell you what it is again this is where the average person see fit them reality as the only valid reality and they and, and them ego now trap them in that reality That's and them don't and because of that them don't include nobody else opinion or outlook but nothing else my reality are the only reality and i saw them see it so everybody end up a try win the conversation rather than try to actually have one and at that, you see, I go on you so. As long as people in a them ego, nothing can solve when it come to communication. Any attempt at communication, nah, go work. Because it turn every conversation in a competition. So you can't learn from nobody because you think you learn already. You not think you understand objective reality. Because if you did understand it, you would have no say. If I saw you truly feel right now, so you're just as ignorant as these people where you are criticized. Oh God! That's nonsense. Oh, you mean? Hold on, man. Hold on, Virgin. Wait, no, man. Wait, no. You have to remember, say, a energy we up against. Two energy in a earth we up against. One of them represent the, the objective truth and the next one represent the subjective truth. The objective truth are the one where you can't change no matter what you desire, say. No matter how you want that for change, the subjective truth now are the one where negotiable. The objective truth is a creator and the subjective truth is an imitator. The reason why most people oh cannot find oh well, no, man. The reason why most people cannot find the truth in a this or any other situation I because the lie, a mimic or a imitate the truth. You believe that? Yeah man, the way I oh say God. objective truth and subjective truth coming like a set of identical twin will look alike but completely different in a characteristics. And you can't tell the difference unless you go past the images and the labels. We are fuck up your imagination. You have to go into the spiritual reality. We are run behind physical farm to find out what the objective truth about this or any situation is. So are you saying then that vaccinations are bad, what? my brother? No, man. Me I say everything that is good can be bad and everything that is bad can be good. It come down to choice. You, be, you believe that? Oh, you mean? Hey, you watch believe that? that? You see people will think like the eye, Rasta. Let me tell you what the biggest problem in our life right now. Uno imagination. My imagination. Oh, you mean? Good God. It's the repetition you be, you of that? everything misleading. You believe you know? that? Yeah, man. Prove All it. Right. Well, I prove right. it. I'm going to show you. I'm show you. You have to prove it. All right. All right, what should I say now? All right, let me go for, let me show you something. All right, in, a, in a 1796, when Edward Jenner, your English doctor named Edward Jenner, come with the idea, proposed the idea of using the disease to fight the disease and create something named the vaccine. And then in a 1798, he come with the first official vaccine against smallpox and save millions of lives, you understand? Now, let's say Edward Jenner did have good intentions and was purely motivated by doing good for people. Yeah, man. Yeah. So the reputation of vaccine on a whole become associated with doctors having good intentions. And this are the curse of reputation because people just unrealistically expect everyone or everything with them a look pan for remain the same as it was initially, or I should I say, in the beginning. Forever. Without the slightest consideration, say for example, this man and him good intention. Now go live forever. And then How? this thing I know can fall in a one different set of hand. We have a different brain with a different set of values. And therefore, possibly we'll make a different set of choice. To use the same set of skill with Edward Jenner have in a diabolic, evil kind of way. How so? Because we base all our expectation upon repetition and become slave to imagination. Really? Oh, you mean we take reality for a simple ABC thing, a simple thing when it is not. We just consider everything as one particular thing or the other. Is that white or it black, up or it down, good or it evil? Nothing no go so bridging. I don't understand what you're saying. I, what I, you I, I say? What you not understanding of that? All right, all right. Let me give you an next analogy mm -hmm. or two. All right. What you do. think, Pastor? What you mm -hmm. think are one of the major things we make love so far? Let's pretend I don't know. You tell me. One word. Reputation. How so? Yeah, I can tell you. All right. For most away, right now, for most people, 
The idea where them all have love come from that time there, in you know, them teens when everything was nice and a be a kiss. Yeah, man, and a fuck all day like rabbit and I watch TV and them did have that time there for focus exclusively upon each other. Because mommy and our daddy are left dinner and take care of the bill. So fast forward to when I feed them time. I'm should I say our time then. For take care of ourselves and our responsibility. So we focus on energy now splitting in half. Because half of we know have it dedicated to focus on these responsibilities. So now, the relationship become half of what it was. So the relationship fall apart because, especially now, the woman who is the most are the more than emotional creature of the two. Go start say the relationship don't feel like one time. Why is that? Because she have this our expectation of what this love and this relationship will be. Ah, uh, for the times in the relationship when they never have these kind of responsibilities. She no look beyond the reputation where them build uh, for the initial stages of the relationship. And see the changes where them have to adapt to. So one or both of them end up and move through life and look back for this thing here. Uh. This idea, literal idea of love, this reputation. And don't know them never go find it as long as them have responsibilities. Really? Oh, you mean? Then, alright, you know, you alright. Remember when people are asking, oh, reggae no feel like oh, reggae used to feel when Bob Marley did that. And people understand that. What do you think you can really compare these two scenarios and call it the same thing though? Oh, you My mean for the same thing with reputation? People have to understand, say, when Bob Marley them a do reggae or when them a trim Rasta and Rasta face persecution. So reggae became a symbol of pushback against all kind of injustice all over the world and at that be reggae reputation. But nobody no notice after Bob Marley did the same system where Bob Marley lick out pan take over reggae. And it become a commercial stage play with all our Bob Marley them fight for. Edit out. And because we know, again, twin reality. You can't tell the truth from the lie. Them walk like Rasta. Them talk like Rasta. Them act like Rasta. But them not live like Rasta. At least most of them, me should I say. But you, the people, most of them can't tell the difference. Because you know not going beyond the image and the labels and go beyond physical farming and the spiritual reality for know what is objectively true. So on imagination, I got always a destroy in the life. In the meantime, I'm between time. What is coming is coming. All right, I'm going to go over to the phone line, you know, yes. Yeah. Hello? Line one, yeah. Hello, good night. Yeah, 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 good night. I really, I really appreciate in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, give it's, time. It's, it's, it's a great show. I really think it is. It's a <laughs> yeah. great show. However, um, yeah. however, tonight, um, I'm siding with Pastor as I share exactly. his perspective on the whole vaccine situation. Fair enough, but what part of perspective or point of view you, you, I mean, you share? These conspiracy theories are getting on my last nerve, man. They're just. They're just, they're just ridiculous. ridiculous. As they believe outlandish theories that they shouldn't and, 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 and disbelieve the simple yeah. facts that they should. Yeah. And, 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 and they're parading around the place as though they have PhDs and are qualified, qualified scientists who are experts on these matters. They need to sit the hell down and go do some research. But to be fair, you know, to you and to people who share similar views, it's kind of insane to advise people if you go research something and don't like what them find when them find it. Rubbish. What you mean? I know everybody research come from questionable sources. Sometimes it come from the same credible, expert, well-thinking doctors and people from the scientific community. Whatever. I don't think you even consider what I'm saying. What? Where are and, and, and it's, it's not just, it's not that I just have to deal with these people on the internet. Something that, that I can, I can turn on and turn off as I desire. But I have to deal with these people every day as I am a manager of a restaurant. And, and I watch these ignorant people refusing to follow the mandate of wearing their masks and sometimes have to forcefully, uh, have to, have, they have so, to be forcefully thrown so, out. It's ridiculous. 
Yeah. It's ridiculous how ignorant these people truly are. We say that ridiculous. And, and hold on, let me finish. And these anti-vaccination warriors, you know, these are the people who aren't listening to the actual qualified doctors and scientists from the CDC and 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 the World Health Organization and 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 and, and, and similar organizations who are actually qualified. Exactly. No qualifications, just pure speculations about everything. Not that you, yeah man, yeah man, speculation over the side there is where a lot of people misguided by misinformation. But you have to learn something. There is lies and truth from both sides of the reality of all things. May I tell you that? Because like I said earlier, the lie, mimic or imitate objective truth so you can't tell the difference is that twin reality so you're saying um, that because of this twin reality that we are misinformed or ill-informed um, as it relates to our approach to what is, is it objective reality exactly. what, what reality exactly. really is you're saying yeah man we form some strong opinion now for what we don't know is the reputation of I, I, all I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't see a point well, uh, no, man. I don't well, uh, see where you're going all right I, I don't talk agree about with this. qualification. All right. A while ago, you say he's the manager but, for your restaurant, right? Yes, I am. So you is not a scientist either. Rubbish. And that me I say. Rubbish. Well, no, man. Well, no. L- we can all agree. Rubbish. So he's not a scientist, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that would have simply That's mean, not... say, when, I, when these scientists that... I make some kind of briefing and I explain certain things scientifically not... related. So not being a scientist, it means say you wouldn't have a frame of reference about where the scientists you are dealing with. It means say you couldn't picture nothing when the scientists you are taught because that is not your line of work. For you can come to the conclusion or the decision then so you fully understand the scientists. Yeah. So that means say you yeah, take somebody word feet. And that would have mean say you're just as bad, you're, you're speculate just as much as the people in where you're criticized. That's not true. All right, tell me where you get your strong opinion about this matter here from then, about this vaccine thing. Where you get your strong opinion from? I get it from credible news sources, credible journalists, not from some dark corners of the internet where these conspiracy theorists thrive. So what you say, these, these, these sources and, and these scientists, them can't, them can't lie. They, 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 they these are credible sources. These are credible, upstanding people from the scientific community that you're talking about. I don't believe they're lying or, or that they would lie. Well, I mean, I tell you, when we say if a problem is a much problem, I don't lie. I mean, I tell a blood clot to the rest. All right. Tell me something. Uh-huh. All right. So... When one of these credible scientists, these doctors go up on big TV, in a commercial go say, Hi, I'm Dr. John Brown, representing for Brush Your Troubles Away, the greatest toothpaste on the planet. Nine out of ten dentists recommend it. Then you see him see him one in a ten more toothpaste commercial. And I say them ten more toothpaste yeah, are the greatest on the planet. And the same doctor still, I said, nine out of ten dentists recommend it. So the reality is, if one of these toothpaste is to be believed, and one of these toothpaste yeah, is the best toothpaste on the planet, it would have simply mean, say, eight out of those doctors slash dentists that they lie. Oh, God. That's well, no, man, well, well, no, man, you basically are say, you don't believe so them can wrong or that them is wrong. What about? The decades of brutal oppression against ganja with scientific opinion cause now all of a sudden scientific opinion change and ganja the greatest thing in the world ironically when the corporate infrastructure gain more control over the market and take it completely out of the hands of the common man so now that these professional credible scientific opinions change against ganja we are going to say, what about the millions of farmers, distributors, and even the simple smoker of marijuana We end up get a record We fuck up them life? What about Peter Tash, where police crack him skull so much time till him see all vampire come to wall and I run him down? What about Jabby, a.k.a. Bunny Wheeler, where them chewing a prison feet for much year? What about Dennis Brown, 
with them pressure for this weed there yeah, until them same start consider coke. And now that the corporate infrastructure finally figure out how to take over this ganja trade, you know. The same scientists, them opinion suddenly does change all of a sudden it's medicinal marijuana. And Rasta tell them for years, say marijuana, ganja, weed, have medicinal properties. But what would it call them over the years? Conspiracy theorists. Just like we, una call them today. I know nothing at all when new lady, let me tell you something. You see, people we, we have the same perspective or point of view just like you. You know, underestimate the greed at the heart of human nature that is created by what they believe is success and importance. Madness, stupidness, rubbish. What you say, Bridget? Let me tell you rubbish. something, man. A psychology of beat <laughs> people like crazy. you, aren't she? You're, you're definitely a crazy But watch a man. The average human associate decency to the image of jacket and tie, lab coat and PhD. And this image and all this kind of image give a rep it bring a reputation to these people. That is a far cry from the true story of who these human beings you are. You believe that? You really believe yeah, that? Yeah, man. Most people don't like see where a, a, a human being really is. And we're truly capable of, that's why them like point the finger in the next direction, and the idiot there, the conspiracy theorist there, and the fool there. Me are the good one, the sensible one. I don't see what you're saying. I, I don't see it. I don't. The way I say, Pastor, hey, watch a man. It come like, say, you out of everybody we are listening to this. You need planet Earth more than everybody else. You come like, you know, you know, log on to www.planeteartbook.com yet. You know, go to Amazon and get your copy. You need about three copies one time. So watch I know. All right, lady. I, I'm still here. I, I don't know I am, but, I, but I'm still here. Let me ask here. you something. If these decent qualified people could have uh, wrong about ganja, what it more things? Who is to say that within the next couple of years, they not going to realize eh, them wrong about the things where they must speculate about concerning this vaccine? Or I should I say, possibly, as I speculate about. Because... Vaccine, I know something where people do in a hurry or in a no kind of rush, you know, it's a delicate process based upon my own research. It is not intelligent for feels that people mustn't be concerned when the, when them have a government. We don't guarantee any form of compensation if them take this joke here and 20 years up the line them wake up full of bump, one teeth, no ears, one pussy jar, half a wood dead and shit they over in a piss for day. And them start bark like dog. Where well, you going to say them time oh, then? Oh, good Lord, I think he's mad. Well, the, the, the truth that, is, Liam. That's not true. The truth is. You're talking rubbish. Just like the average immature, spiritually immature person. The truth is that you don't want it to be true. It's not that it's a lie. You just don't want it to be true. That's not true. You want to tell me, say, you're going to sit down this or stand up this or lie down this or. And tell me, say, the Tuskegee experiment where them give how much black man syphilis. Just for see where untreated syphilis would I do to a human. Are you credible and reputable? Friend them, you have the CDC, Center for Disease Control, in it to a them run that, that, that Tuskegee experiment there. You think a man was 60 year old and look back on him whole life and realize him waste 60 years of be a fucking idiot. Him a whole hand for a fucking idiot for their life. Or that me I tell you. I wait, what you think? You think I love people, love GLP and PNP more than everybody else when them say, Diad! Let me tell you something, man. I wrong, them no I wrong. Ego mats again. Most people I live a lie and it's easier as such to live that lie. And in a world built on lies, it's hard to work by the objective truth. It's going to take work. You understand? It's going to take discipline. And you know, one do the work. And I that don't see what you're saying. I don't see it. I don't. And what you're saying? You know, business where you want to say the average person, entire life, run by them fear because they grew up in our system. We make them fear everything. And the same news we shall watch. We just shall watch a pump fear in our people over, 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 over. So by the time them reach certain age, them psychologically cripple. And I run to the same people where create the, the illusions where them fear to protect them from this same illusion, yeah. Really? Yeah, man. Them so full of fear. Them no want, hey, them rather be a puppet. Them no want jump off of the string and face the challenge them themselves. Them rather make the same system deal with it for them. 
And I don't think people are question science. Like what you say, you know. You understand? People are question the scientist them, the flesh and blood, human, scientists. We have a mind we can shift to any side at any time for whatever reason. I'm understand, you know. I understand, say, you got to have people. You got to have five out of ten of these people now. We are coming with a bag of thing, a bag of tea. We are not talking a bag of thing. Them kind of understand certain things and they run with certain look of foolishness. But what about the next five where we, we, we really are critically think and I think objectively? You have to remember, you know. And you have to know this because this is a reality where I'm going to say. Objective thinking is scientific thinking. You don't need no degree for do that. It's starting in your consciousness. A objective thinking move the world forward. All of these people who now call conspiracy theories. Who now have a member, you know. All of these critical objective thinkers. Are some are people where the world they call conspiracy theories, you know. Like Galileo, Copernicus, James Baldwin, Frederick Nietzsche, Bob Marley. See them, we just want to look on them and when them dead and gone, you know, swear them did I say. All of us want them to profit. And great innovators and thinkers. And because most of them come in like some hoss when they want to take off the blinkers. When you stress out these great people and make many of them dead as smokers and drinkers. Brethren, let me tell you something. We underestimate and most time don't want to estimate the nature of capitalism. And that me I tell you. And you what you say? That? Where you, really where you say? That? You know why I say these doctors are, are, are human like anybody else? Because you know why I find out that you are human we're capable of anything. I, I don't see it. I'm going to say it again now because we associate decency to jacket and tie and lab coat. Make your case, see, say. The pharmaceutical industry is a mafia. We're just as ruthless as any other mafia. Only thing this time, them are the medical mafia. Same set a drug dealer like any other drug dealer. We get people hooked to drugs until these people expire. That's ridiculous. There's no way you can make such a oh, comparison. You mean you can't make such a comparison? Watch a man. I'm going to show you how this analogy works. Look upon the CEOs of these pharmaceutical companies as mob bosses. And look upon many of the doctor them. Not all, you know, because many of them ignorant to what really are going even though them play a part in this drug empire. Look upon these doctors then like the capo or the general will distribute the drugs. And the way or method in which them distribute the drugs is called prescription. Consider the pharmacist now, like the lower level foot soldiers, who is in charge of putting the drugs in the hands of the victim. And for these companies or corporations then, stay alive. They have to make a hook to most of these drugs. Hey, my granny, in her earlier years, used to have a dresser. Full of teddy bear, man. Remember, especially the one that hold up the love sign and say, I love you. I mean, I tell you, Bridgerton, in our last days, we couldn't see no teddy bear, a peer pill, the pony dresser. The pony dresser. The pony dresser. In the meantime. Many people underestimate, I mean, should I say again, don't want to estimate what these pharmaceutical companies really are. Oh God, why is that now? Because them success are in a business are them business model then. It's based upon people getting and staying sick. If people not sick, them know it a sweetie. If people get well, them out of business. Me I tell you, a whole heap of little granny where you say suffer with the little cancer and the little, little arthritis and some whole heap of something till them ball in a pain and dead. Them is no different with little granny them where you say suffer so. It's no different. From the crackhead named Pookie in a New Jack City Rasta, just in a different farm. Them people experiment with human like guinea pig, man. As long as they all make money, them no business about no health and wellness. I, I'm hearing you, but I, I'm just hearing opinions. I, I want you to give a scenario that proves beyond the shadow of doubt what you're saying. Pastor, I know what your problem. I know exactly what is your problem. You inspire the word of the day today. The word of the day today. Is conformist. Yeah, man. A conformist is a person who behaves in accordance with prevailing standards or customs and typically dislikes or avoids unconventional behavior. Somebody we have to run with the herd at all times. You have to see if with the herd. You have to think what people think. For them opinion, you have to always go. Are you talking to me? Yeah, man. What you mean if I you me attack? You're afraid to take risk. I ain't up wrong. Garbage. Nonsense. Oh, yeah. And that's why most people can't learn nothing. 
So what you tell me, say no, you never hear about the, the opioid epidemic in America yet. You never hear about what, that yet. What, what about it? Let me tell you. What? The pharmaceutical company when named Purdue Pharma plead yeah. guilty to paying illegal kickbacks to many doctors, well heap of doctors, for unnecessarily, for, for, for overprescribe for them drugs to many patients who don't need it. Is that a fact? What you mean? What do you say? Is it fact? admit it in a quote, say these opioids, these drugs are highly addictive and them didn't know that and them hold back that. And the reason why this case here blew up is because now, these opioids kill whole heap of picnic and the parents them sue this pharmaceutical company. So where is the good doctors now, my brethren? Where the good scientists them there? <laughs> the decent people, brethren. And again, me now say any kind of scientific advancement is necessarily a bad thing. It is the people, the human beings, who are capable of anything. It, that, that is the problem. A human nature you have to focus upon. Not any subjective image or label. So people risk the credibility What you money. mean? A money are the way we see success are the biggest failure. Because again, we believe system make us spiritually immature you understand and all we seek excessively is to be important the need to be important is a natural one but a belief system turn it against we and them know money is the thing we can buy with this importance in a world we built on this kind of outlook for success we outcome are going to become tied to the income and like me say all the time, almost nobody now go leg of money and this need for compete and be better than in order to do the right thing. You have to have the courage to be irrelevant, aka what me call spiritual maturity, in order to do anything at all that is truly objectively right under any circumstance. And this a liar world yeah, where most people just hook on this addiction to importance now. And we do anything to get that importance there. This is where the problem really come in. How so? Because you find, say, even the man or woman when know the truth in a rasta. When know and recognize the truth. Them biggest motivation for you see them attack all over social media go with a bag of thing. Them biggest motivation for talk when them consider truth. Have to be important. Them not give one fuck. About change. Them just a mimic objective truth. Them now live it. Them now practice it. And the people them we are listen them. Them feel say as long as them agree with these things with them call. Real talk. Yeah man. For them agree them feel say I hate that. All me have to do I agree. And I am that. I am doing it. No, no go so. You have to do it. And there's something where you see and say. There's something where you do is a lifestyle. Is a liberty. This need to be important is why not at all, not change. Because this reality turn even the conversation about change when it comes to anything at all into a big competition. Everybody just dress up nice and come for sure so they know the meaning of the word. Inoculate. Mm, no, I, I don't necessarily agree. Uh, I, I don't. Well, I, I don't. You never hear me talk it. Pan a CM program already, you know, you me tell you. Most people are going like it's a conversation, but it's a competition and them don't realize that. Just notice when most people are trying to have with them consider, are trying to fool everybody says a conversation. When them are talk about that so-called conversation that they don't know is a competition, how them describe it? <laughs> yes, when the boy come talk about this, we just wait, man. And we just lick him with the point to say, Ray, when Shaka did do this in 1821, and Ray and him dumb. It's a fucking competition that, that, that is not a conversation. Most of we don't come in, a, in, in in a conversation to learn from nobody at all. We make up our minds that they are done idiot already. This is something me used to do in a bridge. So me know me I tell you about human nature when they misguided. Me used to misguided by my fucking ego. And think me a somebody to me know whole heap a big word and them meaning. A Zion make me find my life. And me I try help no find for no one. Before your ego make you dead and you know what it is. If you truly live, only when you're spiritually mature you can have a conversation. Until then, let me tell you, this so-called conversation can't solve nothing. Until you're humble enough, if you not only talk, but listen, also listen. And stop pre-conversation along the lines of who in my best looking clothes, and who sound the smartest. While the problem's still in the fucking room, and nobody know how to address it, because it requires somebody to be irrelevant. In order to solve it.
I hear what you're saying, my brother. But um, yeah. I still don't think that um, what, uh, in terms of this crisis, they, they should seek the opinions or yeah. the help in any kind of way of any, any kind of entertainer or people outside we... of the um, scope of relevance as it relates to science. I just don't. I don't. Well, I don't. I don't think so. I Bridget, don't think they, they watch your man. That. Objective thinking is scientific thinking. Science is just a word what we use to describe a deeper state of consciousness. Or we should have said a grid of consciousness there where the whole are we connect to. All manner of life. Science use human beings as a vehicle and not the other way around. We say the flesh as a space suit with a the consciousness there. Put on and take off as it have a like. But the ego make you think one human separate from the next in terms of consciousness. Not no go so. The whole of we have one universal mind. It is just that based upon the belief system with this track way from who we truly are, our true state of consciousness. This belief system we could want everything at once and therefore we end up with too much noise in our head we want to walk in a million directions one time. And therefore we can't find the stillness to access this higher level of consciousness. The ego we could think one human separate or more special than the other one. But only separate by choices, not by divine design. So no one have a copyright on science or objective thinking. Humans in terms of flesh is an insignificant vehicle where lend expression to a force of energy where them call science, where they the billions of years before them and I got the billions of years after them. Just because one little apple drop off of one tree and man discover gravity, you, you start feel like them shit can make party and get distracted by all these aqua blood clad lids. And we don't learn what we feel really fucking learn, boy. Yeah. Compared to what we feel know as human, we don't fucking know because of this fucking ego. Objective thinking have no copyright upon that blood clad bridging. You can listen to the plumber, the electrician, the mechanic. Every man can teach you something. I tell you, as, as good as, as the rocket scientist or the neurosurgeon or the brain surgeon then feels that he is, he still need a fucking plumber. And when something do him care, he need a mechanic. And if he can't find a mechanic, he might go need a cab. cab, cab, cab. In the meantime. In the meantime and between time, what is coming is coming. Well, my brother, um, yeah. after all that is said and done, I still, I still hold my opinion yeah. that um, most people in this country they are just too ignorant, and um, mm -hmm. because of that, um, this country is going straight to hell. Well, Virgin, them type of blanket statement there, you know, if, if you don't stop make, Virgin. You have to figure, you have, you have to remember them. You have, you have to remember, I nearly mean, forgot. You have to remember, say, let me tell that? you something. You have to remember, say, everybody did they mix up in a one, and everybody just put everybody. The truly ignorant, in the same box with the deservantly indignant. Meaning, those people who understand reality and is rightfully angry about the many fuckery where them see a handful. If for the vaccine you talk about when you make that statement, the bridging, when you talk about ignorance. It is. You have a member say, what go on yourself is when we talk about earlier in the program. What's that? A thing when you people caught upon a thing when you reputation and then now it come back wicked for these leaders. Because what you know. No matter what you want to say about ignorance in a pastor, you have to learn something. You have to understand this. No matter how fool or stupid you want to consider the average person or don'ts, you have to just know something, my bridging. If you put a blind man upon a bus, he knows he might get a ride, you know. He no must know when he come on and when he come off, but he knows that some movements are going on. And he might can't explain it, but he knows something wrong. So no, just imagine people with sight now. I see these leaders, I tell them, say, if you take a vaccine now, <laughs> take this vaccine, yeah, where they must say all kind of goodies. The leaders and goodness, are saying it's both. good, you're saying. You're saying. Yeah, they, yeah the leaders, them. Mm -hmm. I say this this vaccine, yeah, is safe, it's and, it, and people, if you take it, and mm -hmm. they want to get rid of this virus, etc., etc. And get better. Then now the people with sight, <laughs> I go see these same leaders, and I, I, I say them, now nah, take this vaccine, yeah, said vaccine, till in April. You can't question the Fear integrity Bridget. of the Where leaders. I'll not sit think. here and let you do that. What do you think? What do you think I'm going to feel? What do you think? That's an insult. No, pastor, man. No, man. Don't do that, Bridging. Watch a man. No, man. I'm not say them people are up to nothing in a Bridging. Me, me not make no judgment or no accusation from these leaders. But me I say you have to remember 
the reputation of political representation or leadership in this country for decades, Bridget. It's it terrible from both sides when it comes to fuckery. So I mean, I said these specific leaders that do nothing in particular nefarious are, are bad. But when you choose if you, if you represent or in a, in a the position of leadership in another country, yeah, I'm sure you know, you're not ignorant to the reality. So you inherit the bad reputation of your political predecessors. We tell generations of lies and manipulate the people. So what I go on for the leadership right now is a situation where coming like that story there, you don't know that story there where them call the boy who cried wolf. Yeah man, I want to look at you where it's a little shepherd youth, him in a village and yeah, him, 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 him take joy out of say people him run come help him every time him ball say the wolf never come to the sheep, wolf, 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 wolf and people run come for help and him laugh after them man, roll a grung. Yeah man, alright, yes, him get fun and joy and then one day you know, him do that too much and then one day the wolf really come. <laughs> I mean I tell you him, wolf, 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 nobody. Well Andrew? The wolf come. So yeah, and the honourable minister Tuftan might have to go make up and make the wolf put some little small bite in some era when I go show. Kite rough, rough. In the rough, meantime. Frankly, my brother, I don't yeah. see why people should mistrust the government's Aware. effort to, 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 to fight this deadly disease that is upon us, my brother. I, I don't see why. Bridging, just, just be fear, Bridging. You understand? People, you, you know, if, he's a, when, if people, I go see, say, for years in this country, I did, them can't find money for paying nurse and, and teacher, not to mention police. And many civil servants, I know all of a sudden you see them find money for pay people $10,000 one for take vaccination. You don't think people are going to question or have a right to question where them get the money. You don't think people are listening in the meantime and just like me all those months ago, I go question say, then how come with those the hospitals overrun with madmen or I say homeless people? You have to understand why so much people fear this vaccine, yeah. Because we are talking about a vaccine right now as we speak. Many countries have banned a vaccine there. So in essence, this vaccine has caused blood clot long before it reached Jamaica. Jamaica. In the Jamaica. meantime. Alright, the biggest news right now, apparently this mother and daughter, yeah man, run this dog adoption agency yeah, where them go across the island and take up all kind of stray dog and dog where people are really interested in anymore. more all right mongrel dog me should i say yeah man a portion of mongrel all over the Omega, yeah, all over the country so apparently them arrange adoptions for these dogs yeah man and many families in canada adopt them dog yeah yeah man and the dog them ship out and gone to canada I'm mean, not fighting a dog, you know. I you know me a ghetto youth, so these mongrels I'm a dupes them, man. Yeah, man. But me that love to see a country where adapting humans, yes, adapting children, me should I should have said, many homeless children in a state care, like Maxfield Park Children's Home and them thing there. Yeah, it would be made easier. I me mean, that like to see adoption become a process that is way easier. And it's rough. Literally, because dog get visa before LA Lewis. It's not, it's not a good, not look good. And ironically, Canada are one of the hardest foreign country for people going in Rasta. Yeah, man, to all of my dogs, them, you know, where, you know, touch down and put in a paw on the ground in a foreign land, you know, and feel nice. I'm happy for all of them, man. I tell you the truth. When I hear the news, say, the eye of them get ship out for Canada, you know, I was so concerned. Me make sure, say, there is no connecting flight to China, because I'm kind of suspicious. And I'm not safe and all right. But I have some advice, you know, for the eye them. Don't make it get to no head because me used to someone you know. Especially me used to the one when him Rufus, yeah man, yeah, him from Rona Rose Stone. Send back blood clot WhatsApp to feed previous owner. I tell the man, say go suck your mother pussy, you never know, say me that make it. And send picture, come give the man with him, with himself in a white people lap or driving a Lamborghini. Bridging, don't get head lighted. And then, no, me, say the one named Sheba. She get ungrateful. Because Rex, 
who used to very loyal to Sheba. Go all about go thief people things and bring come gear. Now Sheba land a foreign. She fuck a Dover man. And I want to tell you say I miss Rex, miss the flight you know. Cause you know Jamaican stay 10 o'clock after 12. I go advise the whole on you know. Don't throw a stone behind you know you know. Don't have this revenge in our heart because people never used to deal with you no know. good. Lighten the load. Have forgiveness. You understand? And clear on the mind. Stop thinking about the people who used to kick you up and carry you in a crocus bag. Go last on a road and try to make you know, find back on the yard and all of them fuck you there. Because if you no know, keep this anger here yeah, in our heart, you know, you're know, always full of bitterness and resentful. So you're not going to end up bite up all the wrong people and get all deport. You're not going to end up back at Rima and Jungle and Chisholm and Maxfield and them places where people used to kick you know, to sickness and deal with you know, the wicked. And at them time, the people them all get the last laugh. So you better you know, humble yourself in foreign. All you know, rock it and sprack it. Me know you know too, you know. You know too a bad dog, you know. But nobody got a foreign boat on our start the people in Poodle and German Shepherd. You know, we're dead. Just behave on yourself and focus. No, because you know, know the Renaissance immigration, they are Canada. And them people, they bust case for any species. No, bother with it. So you know, so you can dial 437-703-1147 to 8. Or email consultant at renaissanceimmigration.ca. And the website where you know you can just jump on conveniently. Renaissanceimmigration.ca IG Angle Renaissance Immigration. No because you know have this information at your little paw. You know feel you can up there fuck around. You know stay there. I don't know, but I stop listening in the meantime now, you know, because it's going up. When you know they are Jamaica on the ribs are show from Canton Spring Road to Half a Tree, you know. You know, if you still remember for like, share and subscribe and make some other dog of Canada new program, you know. And tell you the new owner them for buy Planet Hurt at www.planethurtbook.com or on Amazon. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. If them did a treat to no good already, them will treat you no ten times better after, after that book. Them. I promise you no that. I'm an overall message to my dog them, you know. Don't throw a stick behind you, no, man. Remember where you come from. You understand? Don't turn this in a situation where you're sorry for Marga dog. Him turn around go Canada go send fuck with your phone. When you just humble yourself, man. Nobody make me hear so you lose all your accent and a bark. Like, how, how, how? When you look nice to swear, man. Rough it up, see. Rough, 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 rough. In the meantime. Call up and tell them, say you're a star on the world, a curly locks are on the world. You know that. Curly locks, voice box, big up. Sprague Ben said that. Yeah, man. Me I tell you, yeah, man. This vaccine thing is a very serious issue, but... Right now, I like many well-thinking Jamaicans very concerned about the state of Jamaica in terms of crime. Yeah, man, we find how much people are dead for a week and, boy, it's rough. But I want to say, I feel like, say, the worst part of the crime where we are faced, the worst part of the crime is ignorance to what the true crime is. How so? What do you mean, brethren? People we don't like objective truth and reality. Why is that again? Because it asks we objective reality and truth asks we to take responsibility for our own situation. Objective illusions of this make-believe world. We love the stuff to be perfect and right and win the conversation and get to be the good one and everybody else a pussy hole. And the finger them lift up and a point everywhere else in every direction except towards self. I would love believe that somebody else can be responsible for our action and even inaction. I see where that is often true. Yeah, man. We love it. Not no we no love so. Yeah, man. Because guess what? That absolve we of the responsibility. We not have to, we not have to do nothing because we don't decide in our mind so we get a fight. Another person, the other thing, the other, other thing, they have stopped me. So I'm not really have to put out no effort. That's so most wouldn't of you think. save though that yeah. the, 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 the elected representatives yeah. like for example the prime minister of the country should should be held accountable for the high crime rate my brother yeah, man, but but you know that simply no my bridging yes or no the curse of reputation come in what you mean oh, you what you mean, mean what i mean because we just a party and leader and that's it i know our mind on the vote they mean problem solved that's a good idea but we don't see the process you understand what well, them don't say the mechanics in the background will determine if it work or not. 
You know, yeah, me don't tell you already. All we see is JLP and PNP. But we don't see people, leaders over the years, we are individuals with them own mind, we do things, we make choices, we do certain things. And sometimes those things are fuckery. And then the person will come after them. And for try for attempt to fix that. Plus move forward. Me I say this thing I write you out this episode here. Yeah. And me I go say it again, Bridging. Reputation. Look it up. Reputation is the illusion. Because the whole of the problem them in every relationship, professional and otherwise, including the relationship between a people and them government. Reputation. And what we imagine someone or something to be. Because of what we consider things and people to be. In the initial stages, I went and we introduced to them. Our imagination make we consider them as this one thing. Is the biggest problem that a human psychologically faces. And this is my opinion. As much as the average person's leadership in this country as ABC. Not Natal no Gosso man. Fantasy that. Imagine trying to run a country where the leadership on both sides manipulate the people for decades and create a mistrust within the people for the leadership that become them reputation. Now imagine you take up from these predecessors then, from these people who ruled before you. I say you even want to do your best for turn things around and make a country a great and fix things. Now imagine trying to lead people who make up their minds, say all of these leaders are the same. If as a people, we keep coming to the table with a make up mind, so we all get hurt, we all get manipulated, we all get used, then that is exactly what is going to happen. What do you mean by oh, that? Oh, you mean what me me? Bridget. I want... Uh, what happened to you? You know, say you're going to make me, me lick a head gasket, though. You're going to make me bust a blood vessel on this program, you know, Bridget. Me not, me not understand... Bridging a simple something. Alright. Spiritually, everything are the same on every level. I say that all the time. So look upon it. Look upon the same thing upon another level now. Look upon it like that girl there. Where mm-hmm. a man deal with her wicked. Fuck her up. Wicked. Dump her. Mm-hmm. And she does say, men are. You understand? So, mm-hmm. from that day forth, she go forward with this makeup mind, say men are, and she don't give no man where she try to enter a relationship with a chance to show who them is as an individual. So guess what happened now? This man ya get sick and tired of this black kid where she put up, where she decides say him a one particular thing, and him a try to show who him is, yeah. and him decides say him not spend for him life a try to do that. So when him do now, him done with her, and she now here. You see? I was right. Yeah, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, you're saying. Exactly, Bridget. See the phrase that we may look for. Self-fulfilling prophecy. You can look it up and see how what that. At the same way we approach leadership in a this country, you understand, based on reputation. Why is that again, my brother? Let me see again. It's a twin reality where we often, too often, don't give the individual leader a chance for perform. We just put them in the same box and call them dirty JLP or dirty PNP when in reality we don't examine the details of what confirm or deny we assumptions in other words where we are guess about and we, and we don't know and we have found strong opinions half of what we don't know so we don't know now imagine a try to lead a country where the people the majority of the people decide say I want pussy hole long before them even know you and treat you accordingly. Plus now, because of how we look on success in a this Western Hemisphere under the current order, the current social order, the rules where we follow were firmly planted in a the ego now. Guarantee, say, you have a spiritually immature and therefore you have, have infighting. So now imagine the people them are fighting. you. You own a group or party. There are members within that. We are fighting. you. Plus you have to go fight the opposition. Being a leader under this kind of social order here in a Jamaica is the worst fucking but job in the world. I hear you, but I still don't see why you would say that though, my brother. It is not easy to run a country where even most of the so-called intellects are fucking idiots. So just imagine the fucking idiot who is actually a fucking idiot. And of course, of course, a whole lot of these elected officials are idiots. I'm not going to lie, but the question remains. Who is the idiot? We employ them. Because remember, you know, 
<laughs> you, someone who has such an idiot, who no don't realize, say, we the people are the government and these people. It's an extension of who we are. You understand? So when you call them confused, it's a mirror you're looking at. You try to remember that. I don't necessarily agree with what you. What you mean? I'm no, I'm no idiot. We employ these people. And the sad reality is that the employer don't understand the job when they might employ somebody else for do. And I expect results. And that make most of our lives so hard, you know. I understand many people work hard. Many people are hard workers. But most people are work without an aim or a proper understanding of where they might work for. I end up like a hamster just a go round in a circle. Going nowhere but to the same place where them no live from all no road to nowhere. Exactly, because what? Many people work hard enough, but them coming like that man there where I do a bag of exercise, a workout, and I go out the wickedest way. But him don't have the discipline. Straight across the board in a every area in life. So him end up a eat all of the food where country lick the progress where him claims that him want make when him say him want lose some weight. And the food in another analogy they know come in like having that kind of belief system there, having and loving that belief system that is rooted in laziness and indiscipline, yet we want all of the things that only discipline want can bring. all at once, you say? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Everyone, yeah, man, I see them, them, they feel them reality as the only one, man, and it's like them is a spectator. Yeah, man, I look, them and look upon reality, them is not part of it. You understand? So you find now, say, whenever the problem them come in you now, or the finger them start point, the nurse has said the doctor, the doctor has said the health minister, the health minister has said the police, the police has said the commissioner, the commissioner has said the prime minister, and the prime minister has said dance hall, and dance hall has said the new youth, them, the new artist, them. And I don't think the prime minister did I consider the implication, the real implication of the internet. You understand what I say? Because remember, you know, if 70% of the people them are the fucking idiot already, and the internet is a thing where it amplify who you are like three times. So if you're a fucking idiot already, you're, you're a fucking idiot multiply by three. With the introduction of the internet. How so? How you mean? Them can't go use it. I, I go use them. I just say, me so. But the politics again. Uh, the stakeholders now, <laughs> the stakeholders in uh, this internet thing, yeah. Make you see them can't do nothing about it. See, the money again. Well, I'll make you say right now, and what I've been say, to the people of the country and, and, and the lead, are the leaders. On both sides, let me tell you something. There is no freedom unless I choose discipline. There is no other way to freedom but through discipline. So instead, I've, I've spent so much money upon the penal system, upon the prison system. Why you don't take that money there and make sure say every Jamaican youth go out park camp for at least three or four years go learn discipline and see if the prison population no reduce. Just you think so? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Them no want to face objective truth and reality. Because both the leaders and the followers' idea of success make them addicted to failure and don't know. You may hear them say freedom is not free. You have to sacrifice something to get it. A hard work, dedication and commitment to a particular thing in a particular area. And get it done without compromise. See it there again. Soldier life. And that may I talk about. But because of how we view success and importance. Almost nobody. Especially some people who feel they're medicated more than everybody else. Where some people will have little status, them can't fix no kind of problem. Because them have to go risk unpopularity and, and, and irrelevance. If you do nothing at all about it, so all them good for have to go up and panel, dress up nice and come with them big word and go on and come in at this competition where them like call conversation. Where them come to this competition with them mind make up. So everybody on the panel are idiot. And almost if not, Everybody on the panel, I think the same fucking thing. Problem solved? No, no, no. In the meantime. In the meantime and between time, what is coming is coming. All right. The song here, when we're about to play, you know, is coming from somebody right now We uh, don't need uh, no introduction. It's not a stranger, yes, to this dance hall game, I Rasta. I tell you, say, this song here, we must sing right now. It's objective reality, but, but a whole lot of things where you say are going right now. So me have to play that one here, that one I could miss in the meantime. Devin the Doctor, here goes. This the... Yes, yes, 
Devin the Doctor, yeah man, I opening song, yes. Available on all reputable online platforms, yeah man, me I tell you. Speaking about online platforms, me I tell you, yes, the wait is finally over, yes. Planet Hurt, yes, volume one, the idea and the process. The audiobook, audio version of Planet Earth will finally be released on April 20th on all reputable online platforms where audio books are sold yeah man so yes my apologies for the lengthy delay but that was due to issues beyond my control but it finally up and running you now yeah so just know say the item can still put in them pre-order because as me just say it'll come out the 20th of april yeah man everything free up you know yes and give thanks to everyone in a purple nation yeah man we are support the movement and i make it work all right and the issue of to vaccinate or not to vaccinate my outlook is simply this. Stop act like children when it comes to opposing views. Tame your ego before it's too late. We act like children and don't want nobody call we childish. But where you think you act like when you throw a temper tantrum when somebody does see things or do things your way? You know, like being called a child. But the last time, try remember when you did small, what kids did do to other kids when them other kids they never say things for them way. Don't answer that. Them mock and jeer and ridicule. Them shame them into submission of seeing things. For them way. You know, still to this day, you know, so you see enough big people act. As them can't have a conversation, them start bringing shame and, and insult. You don't have no copyright over reality. Everyone from both sides of this warrior need for no understand so them not have no copyright over reality. You understand? That need where you have for bully everybody and win the conversation and be right. Make you into an egocentric, insecure, weak, bully. We don't have the confidence to tolerate somebody else's view or opinion. We need as a nation to go forward together and put with self aside. Put this ego aside. Because guess what going to end up happening now if we continue this childish squabble. We are going to justify the use of force where them are going to bring in. Because the children cannot agree on a way forward. Treat everybody like them can teach you something. No, because you have a PhD and a man there is a construction worker. That man can teach you something. He might talk a thousand fuckery and the one to make thousand and one of the thing will save your life. Stop close off yourself from information we can help you grow. Being wrong is the opportunity to get it right. Nothing else. It is no shame or embarrassment, only opportunity to grow. That's all being wrong is. You'll be glad for wrong sometime. If you can't wrong, you can't learn. Just because you believe, say the whole thing a conspiracy and nobody enough in and no mass and them thing there, means that you forgot to take it off of somebody else's face in you know, a bridging. The man or woman we don't believe that have a right to be here just as much as you. No, now we don't own the public spaces. So whether you believe, say the mass for wear or not, or you take certain kind of precaution, wear it in respect for somebody else who don't believe what you believe and feel say you give him some type of dreadful disease. When you go in your car or you got your yard or any kind of space where are your space. Take it off. Problem solved. The non-believer and the believer can coexist. The non-believer now to destroy the believer and the believer now to get the non-believer to believe by force. Do it then. All right. See up here. Do it like Woody Allen then. Woody Allen in our movie. An old movie when we watch on me a little boy with him. Hannah and her sisters. You know this movie, I know Woody Allen played the role of a brother named Mickey. And Mickey was a 80s. A man who no believe in a God and religion or any higher kind of power. Mickey studied every religion and it still never helped. So one day, basically, Mickey wake up and realize, say, wait, why try to prove myself right and everybody else wrong? Why waste so much energy upon that? Why not just live life as if there is a God? Take the chance and live like there's I am meaning and purpose. Him realize said that I gotta improve or him treat himself or it or, or him treat others and that I gotta improve the quality of him life overall. And if at the end of it, him dead and there is no God, what are the worst thing we are going? If it turn out said there is no God, what difference it make? You're already dead. And if you find out said there is a God, you're good because you did a live good. 
Jamaica is a house we are burned down. And we don't have no time to stop and argue about who start the fire. But come together and figure out how to put it out before it's too late. Too late. Alright, I want to talk to Jamaica right now about the overall performance as a people. Don't feel so I understand what I'm not going to I understand. But watch ya. Watch the reality. I hear a lot of the people them. You know, I hear them concerns, man. I say the Prime Minister need to do some other things. Spread out in some other areas because I know Corona alone I keep. Hungry still I keep. Crime still I keep. Minimum wage still I keep. Unemployment still I keep. High taxes still I keep. And the oppression of the drivers of taxes still I keep. Now most of all these actions are fake. Are those who did walk past the class when school did a keep? Just more interested. If you go spread out and go and bad and I say, blah, 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 blah. When dance a keep. Now them don't understand one fuck when parliament a keep. Now we have to lose the game. All if I the goal in him, John Ablock a keep. I know everybody a ball and say, oh, look how my 14 labor right and this is a 20 year me a labor right and all the wickedest thing me ever seen in life me ever do. How oh, them can't even talk to the prime minister. But you think I say, oh, you think you talk to, you think a words you use and talk to leader. You think a words you use talk to the prime minister. You think the prime minister can chat to three, three million people one time. But three million people can talk to him one time. Through with actions, not words. But again, we don't know what we want. So we don't know how to demand it. So we end up without the actions. We speak louder than words. We dumb. Ignorance just make you understand nothing and you just live in a constant fear and uncertainty and the worst way to live. You're always on edge. You never can communicate. Everything a conflict. And that's why we nation so violent. Because most are we insecure and therefore mistrustful of everyone and everything where we are look on. Ignorance, the ignorance that we are living uh, for decades is, is not you know fun. You understand? You know cool, no not all. And you know, cool for pretend, say so you know, see it. Because you know. You understand? Everyone know. When them can do better. Everyone know that. I mean, I tell you, Jamaica. I know we this. I know we this. No, not all Rasta, Queen Africa say it. And no true words have never been spoken. I know we this. A bumbo clot. And it's not the Prime Minister fault. It's not the person over there. So I never the one day, another man they make me no get. Another girl they cause this. Are you do it? So far, 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 far. Hey. In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time.